Hi guys, this is Ari from TechShare. Uh, last time I finished uh, the Sitecore 9.3 installation part. So I'm going to share the link in the description again here uh, so that you can go there and um, see the details. How can we install Sitecore 9.3? Today, my uh, aim is to um, give you the brief uh, description about how can you create, how can you install Sitecore Horizon? So initially, I was also thinking maybe if I install Sitecore 9.3 as a default, uh, the Horizon is going to install as well in my machine. But that uh, would not happen. Um, so what I now do is to uh, install. First of all, I need to download and grab the Horizon project from Sitecore, dev.sitecore.net that I already do here. So this is the folder where I uh, downloaded all the necessary resources from dev.sitecode.net. So I have here Sitecore 9.3. I have here Sitecore Horizon as well and also my license file. So prerequisites are uh, what you need to do first. Uh, if you open the Sitecore uh, Horizon, then you're going to see this parameter dot, uh, partial file. So this is there. So you can see here a couple of variables it has. So number one is content management instance name. That's going to be the name of my uh, CMS instance that I installed in my earlier video. And then it has the content management web protocol by default HTTPS. That is fine. And then we have the site code identity server physical path and other variables as well. So we are going to give all the details here, uh, the real name and path so that uh, the horizon, I'll expect that that will be installed without any issue. Before that, a uh, couple of things we need to uh, make sure that uh, we already have configured. So number thing is this, uh, if you open this uh, internet information service and worldwide web service application service and make sure that your uh, web socket protocol is uh, installed or ticked so that is important because horizon is going to use this uh, web socket protocol internally so that is something uh, a prerequisite very important prerequisite for us okay and now let's uh, do uh, all the parameters here so first content management instance name okay so the instance name is going to be content management so that is going to be this one right so let's uh, do that uh, through bindings. I'm going to take the name. Okay. So this is my instance name. Okay. So that's that. And then site code identity server physical path. Okay. So earlier I installed this one, site code 9.3, and it has the identity server installed with this. So what I need to do, explore, and that's gonna be my path of my identity server. So let's uh, use this one. And site code identity server pool name. That is also pretty easy. What you need to do is select this one, or you can use actually the application pool, or you can actually see here. So basic settings, if you click that, then you're gonna see the application pool name, copy this one. And, uh, paste it here as well the last is site code identity server site name okay that i also found here this is my site name you can see here and uh, that's gonna be here last but not least we need the license path and license path is here as well so i have this uh, folder where i also kept my license.xml file so sorry uh, 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 here sorry so this would be my license file actually it would be here under the root folder okay so i have set all the parameters uh, here what i need to do make sure this is the uh in the quotation okay so i have this all the things here i can save this file now and let me see if we have anything here that i need to change as well so it looks like it's fine so this is saved already 
so what i need to do now i need to go to horizon and this is the installation ps1 file so what i can do is now i can do this i need to open the partial okay so in this partial run as admin okay so go here this path uh, okay so since i am using the uh, space in the names so i need to use double quotation as well so i am inside the horizon now now i just need to install uh, run the install.ps1 okay so before that just let me double verify whatever the value i put before so content management instance name is fine content management web protocol is fine identity server physical path is also fine and then identity server pool name the same one that i have here as site name and then i have the license file as well okay so let me try this one and see how it goes okay it's working it's waiting let me see okay so you can see here it takes around one minute or so so all the things uh, are installed or configured correctly I did not see any error or anything and it is now saying warming up my site hopefully it's gonna take a bit time because um, I did not open uh, this in an instance uh, after installing last time so yeah yeah I'm in site code uh, if you want to open or warming up your site code instance normally it takes a bit time so hopefully if this uh, goes well then we are gonna see a new application in our launch pad of sitecore so let's wait for that by this time what i can do is uh, i can grab this one and i can actually try opening by myself that will also do the warming up of the site as well okay so it is still installing so initially it uh, warming up the uh, site core here here and then it uh, ran well it did the warming up successfully and then it is trying to do uh, updating authoring client host config file and every time if you uh, change anything in the configuration files then your uh, service is going to reset like um, I kind of recycled so in that scenario uh, every time if you need to warm up your site then it's gonna take a bit time so that's all so now he is going to verify uh, some inside federated okay so everything is working as expected so far okay Okay, now it is doing other package installer. And yeah, it's doing. Okay, it is also trying to create some applications, web applications, web app as well. Also doing some sort of driver configuration, adding files. okay so everything uh, ran pretty smoothly and uh, i believe uh, our horizon has already installed successfully let's verify that so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to trigger the site core admin site since it did some sort of uh, modification in the file system of our site therefore it's going to it already actually recycled so it's gonna take a bit time that's why it is taking a bit time to warming up the site again
Okay, something about horizon. What is horizon? I'm not sure hundred percent about horizon because I did not have uh, any chance to test it or did some sort of programming or did some sort of implementation or some sort of development on it. I did not got a chance to do that. So what I came to know from Sitecore guys or from forum that um, horizon is a new uh, kind of experience editor or I, I would not say experience editor, but yeah, you know experience editor and the scope of it or content editor, you know how and why we need to use that, right? So Horizon is kind of a new era of this area where a content editor or without the help of real developer, maybe the content editor or site code user, normal dev user maybe, they can create nice uh, content deploy their contents and do a lot of other things so yeah whatever the things i told you guys about horizon it is my perception or my my belief i accord really uh, that might happen but i'm not sure i will actually try to understand about horizon and i'll learn i'll gather knowledge and i'll try publishing those uh, information here in youtube regularly Because I'm so excited right now, I really want to see that application icon in Launchpad first, and then I really want to see the very first time the look of my Horizon application. Awesome. So I can see the Horizon application is appearing in my launch board. Okay, guys. So that's all. I'll I'll play with it, and I'll uh, I'll um, share details uh, next time as well. And uh, definitely, that would be in that video that I'm gonna share in future would be a real more context and practical uh, scenario about Horizon and why we need to use Horizon and how can we use Horizon to create our uh, beautiful application inside Go. Okay, till then, bye-bye, have a good day.